At a time when the world was ruled by single-celled organisms, an unlikely alliance was forged between a predatory nucleated cell and its smaller proteobacterium prey. In exchange for protection and a steady supply of nutrients, the proteobacterium would allow its larger host to fully maximize the amount of energy it could produce from its food in the presence of oxygen through the process of aerobic respiration. This symbiosis was fundamental to the rise of all complex life on Earth, and two billion years of evolution later, the two cells have become inextricably linked, the proteobacteria becoming the mitochondria, the cell's indispensable powerhouses. To this day, mitochondria retain many of their ancestral bacterial traits, including their own reduced genome. This is separate from the nuclear genome that codes for who we are. Still, errors in the mitochondrial genome do lead to disease, and since mitochondria are passed down solely from the mother's side in the egg, with the sperm mitochondria being discarded on fusion, any error in this DNA will be passed to all the mother's children. Since mitochondrial diseases leave the body's cell starved of energy, the symptoms can be broad and varied, ranging from muscle weakness to blindness and even heart failure. Two recent procedures have been developed to replace the faulty mitochondria in a mother's egg with those from a healthy donor. Widely sensationalized as the two mothers, one father procedure, one mother, one father and a new set of highly specialized surrogate proteobacteria may be more accurate.